to make it a little bit spooky and then if you saw in our um, decorating one with party city you saw me add these sweaters just something really simple but make it spooky and cute for lila when she comes in here and takes her bath <laughs> because they stand out super good against the white. And then I added a little bit more on our table, so let's go take a look. Mixology station. I got some cauldrons with pumpkins and the skull heads, and then this is a little wax melt. It says double, double toil and trouble. I've had that for a really long time now, and it just ended up looking super cute over here. But I think that added a nice little touch to fill in that little area. This is new. I got it from the Target dollar section, um, but I'll save it and use it again for the next year and the next year until I need a new one, but this should last me a long time. But I think it looks super cute and adds a really nice touch to the oven. And then over here, we have our real brewing station. Our little Keurig with a little cauldron mug. And look at this cauldron mug. There is a spider inside the mug. How stinking cute and spooky is that? And then this Lila made for me last year. It turned out super cute if you saw that vlog in our Halloween section. And then just some pumpkins and a little skeleton. little section on our island. Our island is so big, 
So I like sticking him up here because he's tall and he adds some height to this area but this is the exact same as last year. And I think it turned out cute with everything else mixed in. So this is that area of the house. If you could smell my house, you would be totally getting all the pumpkin spice vibes because I have my little wax burners all over the house going pumpkin spice scented wax melts. So it smells really spooky in here. Um, and then I didn't this year, but maybe next year. I really want to decorate Lila's little play area, kitchen area, but she's still too little where she goes and messes it up and it's just too much to have to clean up and put it back every single time. So I didn't do it this year, possibly next year so stay tuned for next Halloween and see if I decorate that little area. So we're gonna skip that area and head into the bedroom next. This is our bedroom this year. Pretty simple but also spooky still. This is the pumpkin blanket I was talking about and then that pillow I had last year on my bed as well over here because this is my favorite over here. These are my absolute favorite piece. I get so excited every time I get my Halloween decorations out and I have these. They're so cool. Oh, I love them so much. We had them done on our honeymoon and they've been coming out for our Halloween decorations ever since. Let's take a look at them though. So I added the creepy cloth this year over top of the lamps because it gives it that Haunted Mansion effect and made it really creepy. I added the ghost this year. That's another Party City score. He looks really spooky on the edge of the bed. And then over here we have Mason's little section and his is the same thing. Thank you. 
and this little antique radio was my great grandfather's that I got from my grandmother. I added it in here this year for Halloween because it gives me that Haunted Mansion Tower of Terror vibe. <laughs>
chopped up toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Make it spooky, keep it blissful. Good night.